So hi, welcome back. This is your host Romi Fauzi, and in this episode, we are going to expand uh, more features uh, for our uh, Photon Unity uh, networking with Playmaker. So we have created a player movement synchronized system before and we also have created a shooting system over a uh, network so uh, when the player shoots uh, it will shoot on the client and also shoots on the other client but basically because we are using an RPC the shoot manager handles all the clients so it means the bullets gets in instantiated or gets created on each of the client uh, with that system we can now uh, create a live system for each of the player and it's quite easy to do that because we don't need uh, any networking component we just need to add a trigger event uh, uh, for detecting collision as usual and then uh, later we can subtract the life and if the, uh, the life uh, reaches zero then we can create a dead, uh, uh, dead function or dead state so uh, let's get started okay first of all I'm going to set the our bullet first so we are going to set the uh, the uh, sorry the tag of the bullet to bullet so I've created a custom tag here and set this to bullet and then uh, next we need to add an FSM so go to playmaker and right click on the bullet object so make sure that bullet is selected under prefabs or under resource folder and you can see here in inspector that you have selected the bullet object go to the playmaker and then right click add FSM so we are we are not going to put any FSM over here but we are going to add a sorry I'm going to add a float value so we are going to name this damage points why do we need to do this? Because we w we will expand later that we we are going to create different uh, gun with different bullets so with different damage points. So the first one I'm going to set this to two the value and uh, let's rename the FSM bullet sorry bullet damage. So we have a FSM of bullet damage and the variable it's called bullet uh, damage points. So, okay that's uh, all we need to set with the bullets and now we are going to set our player prefab so select our player prefabs and I'm going to make sure that is this one right our prefabs S uh, network okay yeah player so select player and then we are going to add a new FSM here so we are going to rename this FSM health manager and here we are going to add a float value health and now I'm going to add a trigger event so rename the state to wait for collision and add a trigger event why trigger event uh, if you might ask because basically our bullet uh, collider is set to its trigger so I'm going to use trigger event to detect the collision and trigger event is actually more lightweight compared to collision event and I'm going to set the collider tag is bullet and create a new event called hit and at that state uh, sorry at that transition choose uh, hit under send event create a new state and let's name this subtract health and let's uh, go to this subtract health and add a finish transition and we are going to get an FSM sorry FSM float so we are going to get that damage point from our bullet object so now we need to store the bullet first right okay so create new variable under the solar collider so the the bullet that hits our player gets stored to the variable bullet object and then under the get fsm float i'm going to specify game object and use variable select the bullet object so we have uh, uh, we have to insert the fsm name so it's called bullet damage 
and the variable name it was damage points with s I think and store the value to a new variable let's say bullet damage or damage points just use the same name and then we can subtract our sorry we can sub float subtract okay subtract not subtract sorry subtract subtract health and we are going to subtract the health and we are going to subtract it with a sorry we are going to subtract it with our damage point that we have just retrieved from our uh, bullet object okay so now that should do and I'm going to add a value on our health maybe set to 10 and next, uh, next we are going to get the velocity of uh, our bullet we are going to use this velocity to push the player when it gets defeated so it will falls down automatically with the physics so uh, specify game object as the owner and choose bullet object and we are going to store the vector to a bullet velocity variable okay now next we are going to destroy our bullet after so we are going to destroy object and we are going to choose the bullet object variable and I'm going to give a, a slight delay about uh, 0 0.1 second and then we are going to use a blinking effect so we can see that our players get hit and it will blink and set the value for time off and time off uh, time on to both to 0 0.1 and then we are going to add a float compare this is for comparing uh, our lives so choose health and for the second float we are going to leave to zero and under equal we are going to create a new event called that and then we are going to set this uh, equal to that or also less than to also that so because it's a float sometimes the number can can be a with a decibel value behind so we need to make sure that equal or less than will both will send to the dead event and then we are going to add a weight action in case uh, our player didn't die it will wait for around two seconds and then it will go back to finish so after the player get hits with the bullet it will be invincible for two seconds so uh, the player can anticipate uh, another move to maybe to avoid another sh uh, another bullets uh, that coming at him and after two seconds we are going to send the finish event and since we are using the blink event sometimes uh, when it goes back to another state the state of our mesh render can be disabled so it can be invincible so we need to make sure that when it goes to another state we are setting the visibility to a uh, visible value here and disable reset on exit okay so now we are going to create a new state here rename the state to that and add a global transition sorry right click at global transition that and now we have a that transition so the float compare doesn't uh, complain anymore regarding the missing event and now under that we are going to add a set visibility first because uh, from here our blink state uh, could be invisible so we are going to make sure that the object is uh, visible and then we are going to disable FSM so we are going to use an enable FSM action and I'm going to disable the movement set to disable by unchecking enable and disable the reset on exit uh, uh, reset on exit and uh, I'm going to copy this action and we are going also to disable the shooting so we have disabled the FSM so the player cannot move and shoot the bullet anymore when it when it's dead and then I'm going to add a I think set property but we cannot add an action so I'm going to drag 
the rigid body here and use set property because I want to uh, reset our constraint so we don't uh, freeze any axis at all so under set property choose constraint and set the value to none so it will clear all of this check mark over here and then I'm going to multiply a vector vector tree so I'm going to use vector tree multiply where is it oh there it go and then under set property I'm going to multiply the bullet velocity with a value of 10 so we have a uh, more impactful velocity for uh, that are going to be used to an add force so here I'm going to use an add force sorry minimize this I'm going to use an add force and then uh, move the add force to below the vector tree multiply and for a uh, game object lift that to use owner and send the vector the bullet velocity to our vector value here and then next I'm going to add a weight action I'm going to wait maybe for around 1.5 second and after that send event to finish and add a new state here and in this second state we are going to disable rigid body so in order to disable rigid body we cannot remove the component right so uh, the easiest way that I've come to think of it is to enable the set kinematic so we are going to use the set is kinematic and then we are going to enable this once the rigid body uh, is kinematic option is enabled uh, it will not be regarded as a dynamic object anymore so it will stay on the ground keep being dead <laughs> and we cannot push the uh, the the dead player around so it will be a nice system and maybe later we will expand this uh, to uh, maybe make it disappear for a couple second I don't know but in this uh, sake of tutorial first I'm going to leave this like like this and I'm going to save the scene okay now uh, I think that should be working because we already tricked the bullet event okay so now let's build our game here I'm going to select the tutorial one and click build I'm going to choose another folder here build tutorial yes and let's compile it for a while okay so now when it's done I'm going to run this uh, compiled uh, I'm going to run this uh, XA and leave the setting to a small resolution and set to window and then I'm going to play our scene here okay so I'm going to create a room and we have our player there and then I'm going to join the room on the second okay so this is our player right let's uh, shoot this player okay we can see it's working it's blinking and uh, we can shoot him five times and he will be dead after five times shooting there you go and uh, uh, when the rigid body is disabled we cannot push the corpse anymore so that is the basic system how to create a player health and with a damage points that we have set up in our bullet we can create a different uh, bullets with more with a more uh, larger damage point value so a higher damage point value so it will be more deadly than our uh, standard bullets so and later we are going to explain how to uh, create a bullet uh, or switching weapon mechanism and we need also to send an info to the RPC regarding the shooter so we can identify the shooter later and after a kill we can add uh, a score to that uh, shooter the one who killed the player so uh, I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you find this uh, useful uh, please subscribe if you like it and uh, I really appreciate any donation you can donate uh, 
in the I've put the donation link below in the description or in my header uh, pay, uh, under my YouTube page in the header section there is a PayPal button uh, any donation will be will really greatly appreciated because uh, it helps me to create a more uh, better uh, quality uh, content tutorials with uh, with uh, uh, more often so thanks for watching I see you in the next episode bye